The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. You know you're giving them the best. Q Radio. Q Radio. Welcome to Pets Corner with me, Sharon Jennings. Now, coming up on today's show, we talk to our local animal sanctuaries, the Mid Antrim Animal Sanctuary and the Rainbow Rehoming Sanctuary. And as it's coming up to Christmas, we hear about their Christmas fair and also why it's important never to buy an animal as a Christmas present. The Q Radio Pets Corner. Now here in Northern Ireland, we're very lucky with the animal sanctuaries we've got and the fantastic work that they do. And joining me is George Anderson, who's the chairman of the Mid Antrim Animal Sanctuary. George, you're very welcome. Thank you. Now Mid Antrim, it's been going for a long time, George, and you've been involved with it for a long time. I have. The sanctuary has been going since June of 96. I've been involved with the sanctuary now, I think about 14 years. And George, what's it like coming up to Christmas at the sanctuary? It's always a busy time. What can happen at times is so some people decide, oh, they're going to get a, a new dog, a puppy for Christmas. This sounds terrible, but they may have an older dog and decide, we don't want the old dog anymore. We're going to get a puppy. So get rid of the older dog. That's incredibly sad, isn't it? It is. It is so sad. I suppose from the positive point of view, George, what you do at Mid-Antrim is rehome animals. You know, we see lots of fantastic stories coming out of Mid-Antrim where all of the dogs will be rehomed. Well, this is our ethos. It's uh, no healthy animal is put to sleep. Any dog or cat that comes to us If it is healthy and its quality of life is good, it will either stay with us for the rest of its life or we will do our best to get it into a forever home. George, like all of the sanctuaries, you depend on donations and you depend on fundraising to keep a roof over your heads and the animals' heads. And I know that you've got a big Christmas fair coming up on the 14th of December. That's right, yes. Lots of things happening there at the sanctuary. Also, a chance for the public to go and meet the animals. Oh yes, yes, definitely. Um, The Christmas fair this year in the sanctuary premises from 11am to 2pm, there is a wide selection of stalls, including the likes of Christmas gifts, dog and cat treats, cakes, jewellery, bric-a-brac, a whole lot more stuff. And then the ballot draw, for anybody who's listening who hasn't purchased a ballot ticket, please do. Well, listen, George, thank you very, very much for coming on. I hope you've raised loads of money at your Christmas fair, and also I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas at the Mid Antrim Animal Sanctuary. Thank you very much indeed. The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. Remember, Brandy Dog Food has teamed up with Stenaline to give away 50 return crossings to the UK for your car, dog and four passengers. Pick up special promotion packs of Brandy and enter at brandydogfood.com or on Facebook. The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. Now, I recently caught up with Joanne Mullen from the Rainbow Rehoming Centre in Derry, Londonderry, and she explained why it's never a good idea to think about getting an animal as a present coming up to Christmas. We do always worry around Christmas, the weeks after Christmas are more telling. It's when the novelty has worn off and the work of a pup has become clear to people and they can be quite regularly discarded. We do dread the aftermath of Christmas. We don't rehome animals as presents full stop, you know, Christmas presents, birthday presents, um, surprise gifts. We just absolutely don't do it. It's against our policy here. And we would urge anyone thinking of getting a, a pup or a kitten for a Christmas present as, you know, the dogs trust saying a dog is for life, not just for Christmas. You know, it's one that we've been up to for years and it's never changed. The lifespan of a dog, 15 years, that's a lot yeah. of commitment. It's a lot of effort to put in to a loving creature that you're bringing into your home. And of course, John, if you say, if you can give that commitment and time, it is one of the most fantastic relationships you can have. Absolutely. I mean, dogs are 100% rewarding. They're amazing additions to the family. I think they're fantastic for children. They're fantastic for children to learn about responsible pet ownership. Being compassionate and not cruel to animals, it's very important for children to have that bond with an animal growing up. Too often, we find in rescue that a problem comes up and the first thing they do is phone a rescue, phone a pound, try and get rid of the dog. You know, you need to take on 
the problems and work through it as best you can as well. And you all get that loyalty and love back from the dog. Absolutely, John. Listen, Joanne Mullen from the Rainbow Rehoming Centre, thank you very much. And if anyone would like to make a donation, you can find the centres on Facebook and you've got a website as well, Joanne. And listen, good luck. And I hope you aren't overwhelmed after Christmas and I hope you get lots of donations up until then. Hope so too. Thank you very much, Sharon. The Q Radio Pets Corner with Brandy Dog Food because they're 100% family. You know you're giving them the best. Q Radio. Q Radio.